Welcome to this video where we're going to be having a discussion on SPC, one of the core tools that is referenced in IETF 16949. So welcome again Devon and Dawn uh, to this discussion. Devon, let's start off right, right at the basics. What does SPC stand for? Yeah, so SPC is Statistical Process Control. Okay, and Dawn then, is Statistical Process Control mandatory within the context of IETF 16949? There is certainly a number of references to statistical techniques, but it's not actually mandatory as such. Right. However, that really depends on your customer specific requirements. So if your yeah. customer requires SPC, then you would need to be doing it. Right. OK, so firstly, the organisation has to understand the customer specific requirements. Devon, what else should the organisation use in determining whether SPC is an appropriate technique to apply? Well, yeah, you're going to want to look at the special characteristics, uh, understand those and see if SPC is needed, as well as look at your PFMEA. It should be called out on that as well. Right, so it should be a risk-based decision taking into account any special characteristics and the output of the risk analysis in the, the PFMEA. Okay, so that's important. Dawn, I think people would have heard of control limits and specification limits. So in the context of SPC, what is the difference? Uh, well, the very important difference. So the specification limits are, you know, the upper and lower limit perhaps of, of some form of measurement. When we're looking at control limits, these are calculated statistically. Um, and these are like kind of early warnings that you're right. going to go out of control or out of specification. So that that is the importance of those. And you often see those uh, on an SPC chart as the, the two distinct lines. Right. OK. Yeah. So they're giving a warning that something maybe is changing in the process. And I guess it fits with the goal of IETF, doesn't it? About being proactive rather than reactive. So we're yeah. not waiting for product to go out of specification. We're taking proactive action when we see a change in the process that could be signified by having those control limits. Yeah. Okay. The rules of interpretation of whether we have a stable process, Devon. What, how would the organization know what rules to use? Yeah, so obviously you're going to look at customer specific requirements to right. where those will be clearly defined or those that the organization has set. Right, okay. And I think many viewers will be aware that a special cause in a statistical chart could be points outside of the control limit. There could be seven points going up, seven points going down, seven points above the mean or seven points below the mean. But I think from what you're saying, then it doesn't have to necessarily be seven. I know some statistical manuals will talk about six, some will talk about eight, uh, but the organization has to either understand the customer specific requirements or they define their own requirements uh, based upon um, the uh, statistics based upon a statistical manual. Okay. Dawn, in terms of auditing, what do we think could be issues that we see in the deployment of SPC? Um, we, well, firstly, not interpreting the results correctly. Right. Um, and, and also not taking action is a real common one. So if yeah. we are, yeah. um, you know, going above an upper control limit, yeah. you, you will find that sometimes they're not actually um, identifying what actions have been taken to bring it back under control. Right. Or at least documenting those actions yeah. in some sort of uh, special cause log or yeah. whatever. OK, so that's important. Devon, anything to add on that about issues that, that are found in the effective deployment of SPC? Yeah, to Don's point again, is it's maybe not understanding or 
the actions they take are the wrong actions because they're not reading the results the way they should. Yeah, and maybe there's a read across from the discussion we had on MSA, again, about the lack of statistical awareness yeah. of the people that are either defining where the technique should be used or the people on the shop floor that are monitoring the output of the process. I think that yeah. is a common problem that certainly I've seen in, in undertaking audits. And, and also this over adjustment. So they start to yeah. panic and then, it, you know, you have a chart that's going up here, down there, up here, yeah. down there. Because they're fiddling so, with the process yeah. too much. Yeah. yeah. And that that is referenced, I think, in ATF, isn't it? The, the people should understand the consequences of over adjustment. So let's summarize. So statistical process control, SBC, isn't a mandatory requirement in IETF 16949. But the organization needs to understand any customer specific requirements related to SBC. And they need to define as part of their risk analysis during the PFMEA, where they identify that they need to use statistical process control to monitor the output of the process. And that may be tied back to special characteristics. If the organization use statistical process control, they need to have people that understand the basic principles of statistics. They need to understand how to calculate the statistically based control limits. And they need to understand how to interpret the results of the variation within the process. So the statistical rules of interpretation, they may depend on customer reference manuals or reference manuals selected by the organization.